Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to implement uh, Syntactic Power Filter in MATLAB. So first I am going to explain what is Syntactic Power Filter, what is the use of Syntactic Power Filter. So here we consider this diagram, right? So this diagram consists of uh, three phase source or we can call it as grid, okay, grid supply. So it's directly connected to the non-linear load okay so due to this non-linear load normally it known, known as a diode rectifier with the RL load okay so this non-linear load draws the uh, that mean uh, that current nature of that non-linear load will be non-sinusoidal so due to that what happened right the harmonic will be uh, injected in this source current okay so we need to change that uh, you need to make that source current right that means grid current to sinusoidal okay so it should that mean uh, if suppose we are going to connect this grid right directly to the load without any syntactic power filter so this load current and source current both are having similar nature okay it's not sinusoidal that means it, it draws some reactive power from the three phase source and also it will be uh, affect the sinus and that means current of the grid or source so the th will be increased more than five percentage okay so what will be happen that load connected to this uh, this point also this source also going to be affect okay so we need to maintain that uh, source current always sinusoid so for that purpose we are going with the syntactic power filter so the syntactic power filter consists of uh, capacitor and then inverter three phase inverter and then it have some uh, corresponding control logic okay so here we are going to see about uh, fuzzy pi controlled uh, pk control of uh, syntactic power filter so this is a uh, conventional control logic of that syntactic power filter so here you will see that right so we need to measure the the capacitor voltage and it going to be compared with the reference voltage and it going to be processed via PA controller. So here we are going to implement instead of PA controller. So we go with the fuzzy type PA controller. Okay. So we are going to implement fuzzy type PA controller. So this fuzzy type PA controller will be generate the last power component. Okay. So from this controller. Okay. This is known as voltage controller. And then you have to measure the source current, load current. So the source current, load current, we have to apply Clark transformation. Okay, you have to convert V alpha, I alpha beta, V alpha beta, and I alpha beta. From that V alpha beta, I alpha beta, we have to calculate the instantaneous power calculation. So you have to calculate uh, actual power and uh, average power. Okay, and finally we are going to calculate the the real power requirement okay and also you have to calculate the reactive power requirement uh, based upon the load uh, current okay load current and the source voltage so this is for a real power requir requirement for that uh, syntactic power filter so this q calculation is taken based upon that uh, reactive power uh, requirement due to that uh, nonlinear load okay so after calculating this real power and reactive power calculation and then based on V alpha beta then you have to calculate the, the reference current okay in I alpha beta nature and then you have to apply inverse Clark transformation we have to convert alpha beta to ABC so this will be act as a reference current now okay so this reference current going to be compared with the actual inverter current that means you have to measure the inverter current and then reference current current from that picky control okay that going to be compared together and then it process a hysteris controller and then it going to be control this inverter then it will be inject this uh, compensation current okay so after injection of this compensation current that source current going to sinusoidal okay so this is working of that syntactic power filter now i am going to explain the model with the simulation so here you see that we have three phase source so three phase source is rated at to 400 volt 50 hertz 
and this is a non linear load so three phase diode interfere with the rl load and then here we have syntactic power filter so so this is a capacitor in the syntactic power filter and here we have three phase inverter and then we have that voltage measurement so here we are measuring the current of the syntactic filter and then this is a coupling inductor so here we are measuring the uh, the capacitor voltage in going to be compared with the reference voltage 700 and here we are applying for cpa controller So here the first CPA controller will be received two input one is error another one is rate of change of error the output of PA controller will be KP and KI and it going to be multiplied with the error ok and here we have that uh, professional control action so this is integral control action so finally we are getting the addition of both professional and integral. So finally, we are getting the the PA uh, fussy tuned PA controller action. The, so that will be generate the power loss component. So here we are measuring the VABC. VAB is nothing but the source voltage. Okay, so VABC, and then here we are measuring the load current IL. Okay, so load current, and then here we are going to apply that uh, Clark transformation. So this is a block used for applying the Clark transformation for calculating the uh, zero sequence current and power and uh, real and reactive power ok. So here we are applying that uh, Clark transformation. So after applying Clark transformation so here we are going to separate that the uh, high frequency real power ok and then you have to separate with the loss power so finally we are getting the actual re real power requirement for that uh, syntactic power filter and here we are ca directly calculating the reactive power from that uh, load current and the source voltage and this is zero sequence current and power and here we are providing that uh, source voltage. So here we are applying that uh, inverse Clark transformation for calculating the reference current ok. So after applying this so finally we are getting the reference current. So this reference current going to be compared with the actual current of the syntactic filter and then it will be processed via hysteresis controller and then it will be generate the pulse. So this pulse used to control this uh, inverter in the syntactic filter. So it going to be inject the compensation current ok. So here you can see here right so here we are measuring the input uh, source current source voltage and current and then here we are measuring the source current compensation current load current ok and this is the load voltage and load current so first I am going to simulate the model and also you have to measure the voltage of the syntactic power filter so just I am going to measure inputs input input 1 and then this is output output and nothing but uh, load voltage and uh, load current and then this is a voltage of the syntactic power filter that means dieseling voltage or capacitor voltage now I am going to run this model So here you see that right, so dieseling voltage is uh, initially it will be have some oscillation after that it will be maintained at 700 volt and then this is source voltage and the current. So here is the source voltage and current having sinusoidal nature and then here you see that you, you see that uh, 
so source current this is a common situation current okay and this is a load current so uh, based upon the load current so syntactic filter injecting this common situation current because of that uh, the source current will be changed to sinusoidal and here you can see that uh, source that sorry load voltage and uh, load current okay so this is a result uh, we are obtained from that uh, syntactic power filter with the fuzzy pa controller so next one thing we need to check the tkht of the source current so what's the tkht of the source current with the fuzzy pa controller so here i'm going to check the tkht go to tools and click fft and then click input to so input sorry input one and then I'm going to change CMS maximum frequency and click display. So now you see that right we are getting around 1.27 percentage DHT in the source current. Okay. And we have to compare this result with the conventional PA controller. So this is a model of conventional PA controller. So here we are using PA controller okay so I am going to run this model so here you see that right so this is a response of conventional PA control okay just I am going to run again so now I am going to check the THT I am going to refresh and then I'm going to check the THT. So with the conventional PA controller, the THT is 1.83 percentage. But when go with the fuzzy PA controller, the THT is reduced to 1.27 percentage. Okay. And also we have another model. So that model uh, controlled by means of ANN. So this is a control of system with the ANN control. So this is ANN control we implemented. So instead of PA, we are using ANN. Okay. So now we are checking the result so I am going to check the THT now I am going to refresh this one I am going to check so THT is 1.7 percent is okay so when we are going to use normal PA controller so the THT is 1.83 percentage so this is for a conventional PA controller and then 1.77 percentage for a ANN controller okay and then so 1.23 percentage for a the fuzzy PA controller okay so when we implement fuzzy PA controller the reduction will be very that means THT is reduced to very much low okay this comes to 1.23 percentage so the fuzzy PA controller uh, perform better than the conventional PA controller and the ANN controller. So this is the working of this model. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.